when I was eight years old, my uh, old man came to came to bring us here to watch us the game. When I saw the game, loved it. People hitting each other for seemed like for no reason. And this is where I first picked up a rugby ball, you know. So this is a this is a starting base pretty much. Well, Stefan, this is the site so many English rugby fans want to see. You at an English club in the shadow of Twickenham, but for the time being, Twickenham remains just a shadow, a dream possibly. And the club is your old club where you learn your rugby, the Richmond Athletic Ground. The big question is England. What's the situation at the moment? Don't get me wrong. I, I still want to play for. I still want to play for my country. I'm ready. If uh, they want me to play, you know, I'll be there. At the moment, I'm in. I'm in France and. Um, you know, that's why I feel like I'm playing my best rugby. No, I think on the Sunday this was ours. Yeah. There used to be loads of us running around. We used to own this place, so yeah. You can't beat these showers, can you? I couldn't reach them when I was younger. <laughs> I was going to say, I had to get someone else to put it for me. <laughs> for it. I feel like a grown boy now. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I suppose it's important to get across to people that the move to France wasn't just done on a whim. You've got strong connections with France. I spent most of my life there, I went to school there, you know, so I'm fluent in French. I started playing in Nice, um, I think at the age of 10, is still, still a big part of me. I was quite one and try and I'll do things when no one's looking. Dylan is just straightforward and Bevan most of the time you try and, you try and calm things down, but it never used to really work out because then me and Dylan would turn on him, so. <laughs> in October, of this year looked very close that you were going to come back to England. Why didn't that move potentially to Bath come off? If everything had gone to plan, I would have been I would have been playing for Bath. But obviously there was a, a breakdown in the in the talks and you know um, I ended up staying at Toulon and that's the place, you know, that's the place they've looked after me for the last three years and to be honest they've made me into the player I am now. So in in my head, okay, I wanted to, yeah, I wanted to, maybe I wanted to come back and uh, and give it a go, give it a go for the World Cup. But the year previously, you signed a, a new contract with Toulon. At that point, did you think, I really am giving up on England? The way, the way I saw us, I, I, in my head, I thought I had, a, I still had a lot to learn playing in France. I do feel like, I do feel like I'm getting better, better every day. Just learning from all these guys is just helping me more than if I would have gone back to gone back to England. I don't regret anything I've done in my career. I think uh, everything's happened for a reason and uh, hopefully something's good's going to come out of it. You said before that you'd do anything to play for England. Does that mean that the idea possibly of playing for France has, has gone? Yeah, well, I've never, like, I've never come out and said anything that I actually want to play for France. This is all like things that come out, people assuming that one of the, the, the most uh, important experience of my life in rugby was running out of Twickenham uh, with Dylan for my first cap against Italy and I've still got a big ambition to play for to play for England.